welcome to Shan's Logic. This is me, Shan Naya, and I hope all of you are doing fine. Today we are going to be doing something new. Yes, by new, I mean a new series, The Science of Science. As the name suggests, the series is going to be about science and new technologies related to science. I love science. It's fascinating, it's intriguing, and it's all about surprises. I think science of today is mostly about genetics, coronavirus and its mutations, climate changes, endangered species, energy conservation, etc. One of my favorite topics is genetics and microorganisms. And it is a rather important topic considering the current times with COVID-19 and everything. So, I did a much more deeper research on genetics and mutations and learned a lot more about the coronavirus. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you coronavirus and its mutations. To start off, I dig deep to understand what is a virus, what is a mutation, what is coronavirus and how did coronavirus mutate and what it has mutated into. What is a virus? A virus is a small collection of genetic code, either DNA or RNA, and it is surrounded by a protein code. Viruses cannot replicate themselves, hence they need to invade a host organism and with the help of the host cells and nucleus, they replicate themselves to survive. Viruses often kill the host organisms or damage the host organisms in the process. For example, if a virus invades our body, it will instruct our cell nucleus to replicate the virus. The cell nucleus will follow the instruction and replicate the virus till it bursts. Like this, it interrupts various different cells of our body till the time we get a symptom. The symptom will be according to where the virus has infected. There are many different kinds of viruses in the world and the virus or outnumber us by millions or even billions. Some of the viral diseases are AIDS, coronavirus and smallpox. Of course, these are not limited to these, but there are many different kinds of viruses out there. Viruses do not fall into any of the five kingdoms that currently exist. The five kingdoms are the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, the protoctus kingdom, the protozoans and the fungi kingdom. Virus does not fit into any of these kingdoms because virus does not have a cell. All other five kingdoms have a cell in their organisms. Here is a structure of a virus. Let's learn more about structure and types of viruses. The structural components of viruses are envelope, capsid and nucleoid. Number 1. Envelope it is the outer thin loose covering composed of proteins from virus, lipids and carbohydrates from host. However, there are many small projections called spikes are present on virus envelope. These spikes only bind to specific receptors on the host cell. Number 2. Capsid It is made up of a small subunits of proteins called capsomeres which are an outer covering for the protection of the genetic material of a virus. Number 3. Nucleoid or Nucleic Acid It contains the viral genetic information encoded as DNA or RNA. DNA containing viruses are also called deoxyviruses. These are of two types. Double-stranded DNA, for example pox virus, cauliflower mosaic virus and herpes virus. Single-stranded DNA, for example cauliphage phi into 174m13 phage. RNA containing viruses or riboviruses are also of two types. Double stranded RNA, for example, Reovirus wound tumor virus. Single stranded RNA, for example, TMV influenza virus, foot and mouth disease virus, retroviruses, HIV, and M12. Let's move on to learn about an important type of viruses called bacteriophages. Bacteriophage or bacterial viruses are the viruses that infect the bacteria. They have a head and a protein structure that helps bind the virus to the host cell's surface is the tail. 
there are various parts of a bacteriophage. Number 1. Capsid Head Genetic material is packed into the capsid head which is made up from protein. Number 2. Collar The sheath is connected to a thin disc or collar at the head end and to a base plate at the tip end. Number 3. Sheath It is an external contractile envelope wrapping the tail tube in some viruses. Number 4. Base plate the base plate of bacteriophage is a multi-protein molecular machine that controls host cell recognition. Number 5. Tail Fiber It is a rod-like structure with a contour length of about 1400 angstrom and a total mass of about 600,000 daltons. What is mutation? This is the hot topic these days and most of the news channels talk about this as this has caused anxiety among us. We have heard about double mutation, triple mutation, etc. To simply put, mutation is a change in an organism's DNA. Let me quote Dr. Preeti Kumar, an expert in this field. She says that mutation is a property of a virus that allows it to undergo a change. When viruses replicate, it's not necessary that it has to be the same. This causes, the, this causes for there to be more strains of a virus. This usually happens because there can be a change in the DNA of the virus. The, the replication of the virus that is different from the original one may be more effective or less effective. It may die out in a few days or the more effective ones shall spread more effectively and survive. To give you a comic reference, just look at the X-Men. All the mutants there have genetically modified they have some errors in the DNA that give them the superpowers. Of course, in real life, that's too extreme to compare, but in general terms, it's the same thing. Now, the topic of the hour. What is coronavirus? Coronavirus is a type of a virus, and there are many different types of coronavirus. Many of them don't cause diseases, while some of them do cause diseases. A coronavirus identified in 2019, SARS-CoV-2, continued to cause a line of respiratory illnesses. Scientists called it COVID-19 since COVID is a short form for coronavirus and 19 since it was identified in 2019. Why is it called coronavirus? Coronavirus is named after its appearance. The protein coat of the coronavirus has spiky proteins which makes it look like a crown. Hence the name coronavirus. Let's understand its structure. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses, some of which infect humans. The coronavirus at the root of COVID-19 is the newest known member of this family. And like other coronaviruses that infect people, the new coronavirus causes respiratory disease among other symptoms. At their core, Coronaviruses contain a genetic blueprint called RNA, similar to DNA. The single-stranded RNA acts as a molecular message that enables production of proteins needed for other elements of the virus. Bound to this string of RNA are nucleoproteins, proteins that help give the virus its structure and enable it to replicate. Encapsulating the RNA genome is the viral envelope, which protects the virus when it is outside of a host cell. This outer envelope is made from a layer of lipids, a waxy barrier containing fat molecules. As well as protecting the precious genetic cargo, this layer anchors the different structural proteins needed by the virus to infect cells. Envelope proteins embedded in this layer aid the assembly of new virus particles once it has infected a cell. The bulbous projections seen on the outside of the coronavirus are spike proteins. This fringe of proteins gives the virus its crown or halo-like appearance under the microscope from which the latter name corona is derived. The spike proteins act as grappling hooks that allow the virus to latch onto host cells and crack them open for infection. Like all viruses, coronaviruses are unable to thrive and reproduce outside of a living host. COVID-19's first case was found towards the end of 2019, 
then a new coronavirus was later named SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 was originated in animals which later mutated to cause illness in humans. In the past, few disease causing viruses have all been found out to come from birds, bats and pigs. Researchers are still researching on COVID-19 and researching how it became a pandemic disease. Are the different variants to the coronavirus? Yes, there are many different variants to the coronavirus and in the future we can only expect to have even more. This is because coronavirus like any other virus can mutate. In 2020, B.1.1.7 virus was found in the United Kingdom. This is a new strain of the coronavirus and was found to be more deadly. Since then, there have been even more variants of the coronavirus throughout the world, now including India. These new mutations can lead for it being more lethal or it allows it to spread faster. Also, it increases its scope to mutate further beyond. Why does the coronavirus mutate? Coronavirus, like any other virus, mutates because there is a genetic modification in the virus. This causes it to have different properties. Coronavirus is a RNA virus and RNA viruses are more prone to mutations. So, also the different geographic locations cause the viruses more prone to mutate often. This is why there are different variants of the viruses all over the world. An example of a different virus mutating is the flu virus. Flu virus mutates every year and there is a different strain. That's why doctors recommend to take a vaccine of different flus every year. How does a vaccine work? Vaccines are the major preventions against viruses. A vaccine involves taking a dead or an inactive virus inside a body. The rest of the work is done by our immune system. Our immune system has two major parts, which are the phagocytes and the lymphocytes. Viruses have a protein core and on these protein cores are small protein projectiles known as antigens. The lymphocytes detect that there is a virus entering our body. They create antibodies for the, uh, for the antigen on the virus. These antibodies stick to the antigens of the virus agglutinating them. Agglutinating is a process which involves paralyzing the virus so that it no longer moves. Then the second part of our immune system, the phagocytes engulf this agglutinated virus which then is excreted out of our body. Now the antibodies that are made are stored in our memory cells. So, the second time a virus enters our body, our lymphocytes recognize this virus and the antibodies are created. Hence, the uh, vaccines help us prevent the diseases that are related to a virus. Will the COVID-19 vaccine work on the different strains of the virus? Now, when you take a particular vaccine for a particular strain of coronavirus, the efficacy will remain very high since the antigens on the virus will remain the same. Now, if there's a new strain of that particular virus, the efficacy may go down or remain the same. This is because there can be a change in the antigen of the virus or it may be the same. Hence, it is not determined. However, if you have taken a vaccine and a booster shot, you should still maintain the safety procedures. You should wear a mask, maintain social distancing. I have understood a lot more about COVID-19 and coronavirus and I hope this video has been informative for you too. Now, we have reached the end for this video. I hope you liked the video and will hit the like button. And please share this video so that people who don't know about these things will get to know more about COVID-19 and coronavirus. Please subscribe to the channel and if you want me to improve on anything, please comment. I hope you have a happy and safe day ahead. Sai Chiang!